The new Tiny 1125H 2V7 pushes things even further. It installs in just six gigabytes of space, yet still includes the Microsoft Store, Windows Update, Defender, and every essential Windows feature you need. No junk, no clutter, just pure performance. I'm Neil from Apatis, let's dive in. If you're looking for maximum speed and zero distractions, Tiny 1125H 2V7 is the build you'll want on your machine. Keep watching because I'll not only show you how to install it, but also how to access the Tiny 11 Creator, the tool that makes this possible. The Creator works like your personal Windows factory. With a single click on Build, it strips Windows down to the essentials, giving you a clean, lightweight installer. But keep in mind, this step takes a little time. The build process depends on your internet connection and disk speed, so let it run in the background. Once it's done, you'll have a fresh image, ready to go. And if you're a Velotic subscriber, you don't even need to wait. You'll get a direct download link inside the exclusive Discord channel. When your build is ready, the next step is installation. Open the Xeno app, load the setup file, and hit Start Installation. Pick the drive you prepared earlier, confirm, and let the process begin. What's great here is that Tiny1125H2V7 installs alongside your current Windows, so you won't lose files, apps, or settings. Usually, the setup wraps up in just a few minutes. After installation finishes, restart your PC you'll be greeted with a dual boot menu, letting you choose between your old system and Tiny 1125 h 2 v 7 If the menu doesn't appear, don't stress. It's an easy fix with free tools like EasyBCD or VisualBCD. From there, you're ready to boot into a Windows that's faster, cleaner, and lighter than anything Microsoft ships out of the box. If you'd rather skip Xeno and stick with the traditional method, Rufus is still one of the best tools around. It's been trusted for years, it's free, and it simply works. All you'll need is a USB stick with at least eight gigabytes of space to get started with a clean install. When you launch Rufus, it'll ask if you want UEFI or Legacy Boot. If you're not sure, don't overthink it, just leave the default option. The worst case scenario is that your USB doesn't boot and you can switch modes and try again. For guaranteed success, you can also check your motherboard manual or do a quick search to confirm if UEFI is supported. Now, here's something you must not overlook. Rufus wipes your USB drive completely. So, back up any important photos, files, or documents first. Once the process begins, everything on that drive will be permanently erased. After Rufus is done, you'll have a bootable Tiny1125H2 V7 USB ready to go. During installation, be extra careful when selecting the target drive, because picking the wrong one can wipe your data. Want to switch languages later? No problem, you can install additional language packs after setup. And once you're up and running, don't forget to install my app Velotic for that extra boost. It'll make Tiny1125H2V7 feel incredibly fast and smooth. Velotic is built for people who demand performance. It doesn't just raise FPS it optimizes your entire PC. CPU and GPU settings are tuned automatically, junk files are removed the moment they appear, and hidden slowdowns are fixed in real time. With 500 plus advanced tweaks, you control every part of your system. Debloat windows in one click, install apps instantly, unlock hidden hardware features, and manage power plans for maximum speed. Even storage issues are solved. Velotic compresses files safely, freeing up to 70% more space, without deleting anything. This isn't a quick hack or a free cleaner. Velotic has been engineered over three years, tested by thousands and updated constantly. At just $19.99, it's a one-time purchase that pays itself back every time your PC runs faster, smoother, and cleaner. If you want your system to run at full potential without effort, Velotic delivers. Once installation is complete, whether you went with Xeno or Rufus, Tiny1125H2V7 will boot you straight to the desktop. But don't rush off just yet, because there's one crucial step that unlocks its full potential. On your desktop, open the Configure app and turn on Compression. This feature dramatically reduces disk usage, in many cases cutting it nearly in half. And the best part is you won't notice any slowdown in performance. It's optional, but I highly recommend doing it. The compression process 
does take some time, anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour, depending on your drive speed. So it's a good moment to step away, grab a coffee, or just let the system run while you do something else. When it's done, check your storage. You'll see Tiny1125 H2V7 using only around six gigabytes. Think about that. The entire official Windows 1125 H2 slimmed down to just six gigabytes. That's something Microsoft themselves would never offer. And if you're curious how this lightweight build stacks up against bloated stock Windows 11, make sure to watch the benchmark and review video by HT. I'll link it in the description as soon as it's live. Now that Tiny1125 H2v7 is installed, let's get you online. Just open the toolkit and pick the browser you actually want. Chrome, Opera, Edge, Firefox, everything's right there in one place. Finally, you're in control instead of being forced to use Edge like on stock windows. Before we move on, take a second to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and drop a comment below telling me how Tiny11 has helped you. I read every single one, and I'll be giving a shout out to five random nice comments in an upcoming video. The Configure app even has shortcuts back to my channel, so you can easily find new guides and updates. For real support and community help, join my Discord server. That's where troubleshooting actually happens. You can share screenshots, get quick fixes, and even catch sneak previews of future builds. YouTube comments just aren't reliable for support. Most get flagged as spam, and it's impossible to solve complex issues without context. And here's one last important tip. If any apps or games crash, go to the toolkit, enable paging files, and restart. They're off by default to save space, but turning them on usually solves crashes instantly. Now let's talk about drivers. Are they really necessary? The short answer, absolutely. If you want your PC to run at its best. Gamers need them for maximum performance. Multi-monitor setups, external displays, touchscreens, trackpads, or those extra function keys. None of that works properly without the right drivers, simply put. They make sure your hardware runs smoothly and unlock every feature your system offers. With Tiny1125 H2v7, you don't waste time hunting online for each driver. Just open the Configure app on your desktop and hit Install Drivers. The app scans your system, detects what's missing, and guides you step by step, making the entire process painless. In just a few minutes, your PC is fully tuned, ready for gaming, productivity, or everyday use, without the usual headaches of a traditional Windows setup. It's all automatic, efficient, and keeps your system running clean and fast. You'll find the purchase link for Tiny1125H2v7 in the description below. As promised, I've got a special gift for my loyal viewers. Enter the coupon code APIDUS100 at checkout to unlock at a big discount. Once your purchase is confirmed, click Go to your items to access the Tiny11 Creator. Keep in mind, this coupon works only in selected regions. Purchasing also gives you exclusive support, future updates, and special perks. If you're a Velotic user, you already get free access to Tiny11 and all future builds as part of your bonus package worldwide. I've put countless hours into making these tools fast, simple, and customizable for everyone. Now it's your turn to support the channel. Like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. The faster this reaches more people, the sooner I can bring you the next guide. Thanks for watching. This is Apetus signing off.